Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we will see the clock needle animation. In a clock needle animation, a needle will appear that will move through a circular arc covering all the points that you have written over here. So the first point will appear, then the needle will move to the second point, then to the third point, then to the fourth point, after that to fifth point and then to sixth point. So you can write as many points as you want over this dial. So let's see that how we are going to make it. In order to make it, let's take a new slide. Here, the first thing is that we will make a, a needle. So in order to make a needle, we'll go in the insert tab. From here, the shape option. Then we will choose the isosceles triangle and we'll make a very small triangle of the shape of a needle, very thin triangle. Now, one thing to take away from this uh, video is also that if you are going to rotate this needle, you will find that the rotation is from the middle of the axis, axis. But we want the needle to get rotated from the bottom of the axis. So in order to change the axis, what we will do, we will press Ctrl T and make an exact copy of this needle. Now we will make this needle invisible, the second part. So we will go in the format option. From here we will choose the shape fill option. We will choose no fill. Then we will go in the shape outline and we will choose no outline. The second is thing is that we will go in the rotate option and we'll choose the flip vertical option. So the needle that was already made gets flipped to 180 degree or gets rotated to 180 degree. Now this in the next part, what we will do, we will choose this shape and we'll place it at the bottom of the shape that was already made. We'll press control, we'll select the other shape and we'll press G. So both of this shape gets grouped together. Now we'll make a bolt at the bottom of this shape in order to make a bolt, we will go in the insert tab, choose the shape option, we will choose the oval shape, we will press shift and make a circle. Shift is being made so that the height and width both remain same. Now we will press it, uh, place it at the bottom of this uh, first needle or in the middle of the whole image. Now we will again press control, we will select the earlier image and we will press G. Now since we have grouped it together, we will move it at one of the corners. Let's make the dial. In order to make the dial, we'll go in the insert tab, we'll choose the shapes option and we'll choose the arc option under the title basic shapes. Now we are going to make a dial for it. We'll make an arc. In the next option, what we will do, we will connect this uh, orange part to the bottom of this so that it will make a semicircle part. Let's format this shape so that the needle will remain within this shape. Now what we will do, we will go in the, uh, we will select the needle, we will go in the format tab, we will choose the rotate option and we will choose more rotational option. So uh, let's place for our first text at a 30 degree. So we are going to choose the option as 30 degree. We are going to mark this place by putting a, a small circle over here. In the next option, what we will do, we will choose the image, we will go again in the rotate option, more rotational option and we will choose the option as 90 degree. So we want the, uh, we want the needle after the first text to move to 90 degree or a place somewhere over here. Now we will again mark this place by by putting another circle over here let's put another circle over here let's select this image and delete it now in the next option we again want the needle to move somewhere over here so let's give it a rotation of again of 60 degree so we will choose the um, image we'll go in the format tab We'll choose the rotate option, more rotational option, and we'll choose the shape as 100 or uh, the rotation as 150 degree. So we want our next uh, rotation somewhere over here. We'll choose one of the shapes, make a copy of it, and we'll place it somewhere over here. Now we will see uh, that how we are going to animate it. But before that, let's put some text over here. So it's look good let's put your text here 
is make a copy of this text let's make another copy we'll put this over here and the next text over here now we will give a uh, rotation to this or animation to this needle so we will again choose the needle go in the format tab we'll choose the rotate option more rotational option and will place the or uh, give the initial rotation to the needle now what we will do we will go in the animation tab from here we will choose the option of spin Uh, but you can see that this is going this is giving it a spin of 360 degree but first we want this uh, needle to go from this point to this point so the difference between these two points was of 60 degree so in order to change it we will open the animation pane we'll go choose this option group 17 the animation option we'll choose the effect options we'll go in the amount and we'll choose the custom now we will give it that custom animation of 60 degree only we'll press enter and we'll press ok so you can see that the needle is moving from this 30 degree to 60 degree let's give animation to this text as well uh, let's give it a wipe animation we'll go from choose from left now we have to move this needle from this uh, 90 degree to this 150 degree so there is a difference of 60 degree again in it we have to again give it a spin option so that it can move from 90 degree to 150 degree in order to do so what we will do we will again go in the add animation option we'll choose the spin option and we'll choose uh, we'll go in this effect option uh, group 17 and we'll change the amount to again to 60 degree so we will go in the custom option and we will choose 60 degree we will press ok so after it has moved to 90 degree since there is a uh, more animation effect given to it it will again move to 150 degree we will select this two option we will press G group it together and let's give one animation to this also let's give it to from text so let's see in the slide mode option that how uh, the animation works so the first text has appeared and uh, initially the needle is pointed towards it then the needle will move to uh, the other option and then the other option will appear then to the third option and the third option will appear so this is how you make needle clock animation in the powerpoint presentation it re really helps to look your presentation more beautiful that was all from this video i hope so that you like it please do like share and subscribe the channel for more videos